every so often a tool comes along that you start using and you're like, wow, that is really impressive. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you today. It's a tool that has been recently recommended to me by a friend of mine. It allows you to take a video, so any video content or audio content that you've got on your computer, or for example, a video from YouTube, put it into the system, click on a button, and it will transcribe and extract the text. Now, it doesn't just work in English, it works in multiple languages. I'm using it in Polish, but what's really good is that afterwards, it will play the audio, and it will actually mark the text at the same time, so you can then listen and read. So if you look at this example on the screen now, you can see it's produced the whole of the transcript for me, but more than that, I can actually play the audio and it will mark the transcript as I play it. Let me just quickly show you. Hej, hej, witaj serdecznie na moim kanale Polka w Ameryce, w tym szybkim story time. Tym razem witajcie. This is just absolutely fantastic. And immediately I started working with this technology, I realized what a huge help it's gonna to be to my own language learning. So I get this chance to play back the video in this case with the transcript. And of course, there are many other things that you can do with the transcript afterwards, of course, edit it and move it to another file, for example. Really hope you like this video, and if you do, please like, please subscribe, please comment on the video, and of course, join me on my YouTube channel. One final thing, people always ask me, how do I make my videos? I use a technology called Camtasia. In the description below, I'll provide a link in case you wanna download and try it out for free. There's also a couple of links where you can buy Camtasia at a discount, as well as a complete training course that I put up onto YouTube about Camtasia that's completely free. Right, let's get started. So the technology is called TurboScribe.ai and I signed in using my Google account. Now I've only been using this technology today. I started using it, I was so impressed that I thought I'm gonna make a video straight away. And notice that the free plan allows you to work with three files a day for up to a total of 30 minutes in each file. So it's really generous. And today in my studies this morning, I used two files. Let me show you how it works, it's very easy. So here we are on the screen, and you can already see that I've done two transcriptions this morning. Now, I'm working from Polish into Polish. In other words, I chose videos that didn't have a transcription on them. Most videos these days on YouTube do have, but some don't. And so I wanted to be able to listen and read at the same time in Polish. Remember, this doesn't only work in English, it works in multiple languages. Now, obviously, in English particularly, many of the YouTube videos are already translated and you might say, well, why use this technology? But one of the things is that when you have got the transcription, so if I click on, for example, one of the examples, it's much easier afterwards to edit and extract the text from here than to do it within YouTube. So that's another reason. But of course, there's the huge bonus that you can actually play the audio and follow the text on this screen, which obviously you can't do in YouTube. So let me just take you through now the process of actually transcribing a video. So I'm just gonna click on TurboScribe to come back to my main window. When I wanna actually transcribe a video, I click here. Remember, it can be video, it can be audio, and it could be something that's on your computer, an MP4 file, an MP3 file, or as I said, it could be YouTube. Now I'm gonna work with YouTube because that's predominantly the way I'm gonna be using this technology, though I of course accept that many other people will be interested in the other option of just uploading a file and getting a transcript from that. So let's work here, but keep in mind that this doesn't have to be in English, it works in multiple languages, and it will also translate back to English. So for example, if you've got a Spanish file that you want to have translated into English, or a French file that you wanted translated into English, that is also another option. So let's look at a few ways that we can use this technology. So I'm gonna take a video here. Now I'll do this in Polish. Of course, this could be, as I've said many times, in many languages, but I wanna just show you some of the options and it's more interesting if I do it in a different language. So I've got a video here. This hasn't got a transcript. I'm gonna click on here and copy that link. I'm gonna jump back over 
and I'm gonna click then on transcribe file. I'm gonna click on the link here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste in that link and import. So what's gonna happen now is it's actually gonna process that video and work through the audio for me. So that only took a few seconds. I'm now gonna choose the level and I went for balanced, but if you want really accurate, you could go for this one. But I just wanna point out before I do the transcription that there are a few interesting options. So if you click here, one of them is transcribe to English. That's if you want it translated into English, then that is a possibility, okay? If you want to also use AI to remove background noise and enhance speech. Now, in my first video today, that would have been really useful. I didn't actually realize at the beginning that that option was available. And the other thing is if you've got multiple speakers, you can choose this and it will label the speakers for you and help you therefore to understand how many speakers there are. And in this particular case, I've got two speakers. So it might be quite a good choice. So those so settings are really, really useful. Once you're ready, and I'm not gonna transcribe into English, I'm gonna to listen to this in Polish, but as I said, this could be English or French or Spanish, and you don't have to translate. You can have a direct transcription from English to English, for example, from a video or an audio in English to get the text from it. But for me, I'm gonna use it in Polish. I'm gonna click on transcribe. I don't wanna waste my three free options per day because I'm studying Polish and this is another video that I really want to study. So now it's doing the business and well, let's just wait a few moments and hopefully the video will be ready. And there it's all ready now. And of course, if I click on any of these, and it doesn't really matter which one I click on, I just wanna point out a couple of things. One of the things is of course that you can play the audio. So it extracts the actual voice from the video itself or from the audio itself, and it is now available here. And of course, at the same time, it marks on the screen the words. Now, of course, this also means that you've got the option now of being able to, of course, select text to copy it, or of course you've got loads of options here to download as a doc, for example, into Microsoft or as a PDF file, etc. And there are many other options as well in terms of, for example, how you could then import this transcript into ChatGPT and get it to extract key vocabulary, which is something that I'm gonna start looking into. So you can see this technology really is interesting, but it's not only the, what it does here, but it's what it could do, how we could then link this to other technologies. One final tip, what you might be interested is a technology that takes text and actually reads out that text for you in a native sounding voice. So almost like the opposite. And there is such a tool and it's one that uh, is very popular on my YouTube channel and on my website. I'll put the video on the screen now. You can click on that and watch that video and I'll also add it into the description, but it's called naturalreaders.com. You can literally take a text in many different languages and then paste it in, choose a voice, and it will be read out in a native-like sounding voice. Great for pronunciation, great if you've got a text that you also wanna to listen to being read out. And I use that techn technology all the time. Okay, really hope you liked that video. And if you did, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. Loads and loads more free videos on using technology in language teaching. You can also, from here, sign up to my newsletter. It's very popular. I have about 12,000 subscribers where you'll get updated on all of the latest blog posts, the webinars that we run, the courses, as well as the new videos. And at the moment, if you sign up, you get a kind of 14 part video course in using technology in language teaching, where I suggest some of the best technologies that are online. And nearly all of the ones that I suggest are for free. There are a couple of tools that you would have to pay for, but basically everything is free. There really are no tricks. I just try to suggest you the most popular technologies that are being used in language teaching, and you might find that interesting. You can also contact me from the website if you'd like me to do some training or a talk with your organization or even you as an individual. And thank you very much. I'm gonna leave now some more videos on the screen of a really popular technologies for language teaching.